viewer named Sam writes in, he says, what is your opinion of LFE or low frequency emitter, quote, silent subwoofers, or quote, force feedback from your couch or room? Do you think this is something every high-end home theater should have paired with a real subwoofer or two? Do you think it's a novelty, completely unnecessary, and couldn't see owning one? Do you guys have much experience with these types of devices? I'm Sam from Seattle, Washington. Butt Kickers, that's the brand name of one of the higher profile brands of LFEs, AKA shakers, AKA couch vibrators. I could totally see owning one. I could see owning one the first time I tried one out like six or eight years ago. Essentially, they're big subwoofer magnets without the paper cone. Not the transducers like you buy that you glue onto a filing cabinet. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Or that you put it on a table and the table becomes a speaker. They're very, very similar, right? But the idea though is essentially it's, 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 a device doing, it's literally like a device that that reproduces subwoofer range frequencies, right? But instead of moving a paper comb which moves air, which strikes your eardrum, it's physically shaking the floor or the nice. furniture that you're sitting on, like right? It. They, it's, it, they're basically shakers is, is one good reason Boom. people call them. I like them, especially on serious 5.1 soundtracks with lots of explosions or like fist fights where there's this big low end poof. They're like visceral in a way that's slightly less likely to get you thrown out of your apartment than say, mm, let's say one of Shu Research's ULS 15 quad drive subwoofer <laughs> kits, which is four 15 inch wireless subs that drop in just obscene amount of energy down to 10 hertz. That, that, that's the vomit range for my. Yeah, if that you don't have a, a really low big frequency, room, yeah. <laughs> you're going to feel that one. Yeah, especially since they're now selling the butt Kicker actually now sells their LFE kits. It's pretty cool. They sell you four feet to isolate your couch or your chair. One foot is a big one that's designed to actually mount the butt kicker to the transducer to. The other three isolate the furniture and the shaking from the rest of your house by nice. isolating it from the floor. It's a really nice touch here in earthquake country so you don't scare the hell out of the neighbors. That said, LFEs or butt kickers, they're complements to a solid subwoofer. They don't replace them. They'll definitely give it more impact, more oomph, more something. But, you know, you got to remember also either have everybody sit on the couch yeah. or you have to have one of these for every single piece of furniture for everybody to get the effect or you bolt it to your floor and shake your house apart. Um, it's that home theater <laughs> gift idea you might want to consider. Yeah. They could give a box of them. A yeah. box of them. Hey, now, this that allow you then to turn the subwoofer down a little bit, say, so you're not using that as much and then... You still get a good effect out of it. It's something I've never had Maybe the less chance annoying to play to neighbors. around with. Well, okay, one, I've decided, I'm going to call the butt kicker people up and see if we can get some in for review. <laughs> Look, if you've got 500 bucks for the LFE kit, it's probably a better deal than a raw driver plus the cash to, to buy a 400 to 1,000 watt amplifier. These things take a mother ton of power to do their thing. Um, if you're more the DIY sort, I should also point out, check out the Aura Pro Bass Shakers. Bass, bass Shakers. Bass. <laughs> the Aura Pro Singing Bass. The bass, baby. The Bass Shakers from Parts-Express.com. They're 40 bucks. They also sell over at uh, Parts-Express the Clark Synthesis Transducers. I love anything. It gets measured in pounds, foot per watt. Essentially, they're like doing torque measurements uh, for measuring response from these devices. Because obviously, nice. right, you don't, you don't measure, you know, no. decibels. You, you measure foot pounds, pound feet of response. Frankly, we're going to get some in. We're going to get Transformers on. Uh, probably Transformers would be a good one. I'd actually like to hear... Uh, I want a transducer for the pool. We used to have yeah. swimming pools where they'd throw that in there like a speaker. Parts and Dash Express. As you're swimming, you could just hear the sound from everywhere. And you, I like that. Parts Dash Express. Really? We're going to build you some transducers. Nice. We'll play around. It would be fun to play around with because at some point when you turn the subwoofer down, you start to lose a lot of its... You know what I mean? You end up with sort of a... If you turn it down too much, you may still be feeling it, but you're not hearing it, and I feel a disconnect yeah. when I'm feeling things that I'm not hearing. I, could, they're far, I could see far that being away. an issue. If you turn it down too low, definitely. Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs>